guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, it is 8.30. Sophie and I are sitting here waiting for Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants Gabby to get ready. She takes 50 million years. She takes 50 million hours, like. To do her hair. Yeah, her hair. like all those years. Oh, sorry. All those years that I was like, I wish my girls would brush their hair. Well, it's happened, and now I'm thinking, gosh, I wish they'd wait to brush their hair. Anyway, welcome to today. Sophie and I are just discussing her birthday. But her birthday is this Sunday. And we were just discussing, like, what are we going to buy her for her birthday? We haven't even bought her presents yet. So I said, you guys know what a shopper Sophie is. She is such a shopper. That's her favorite thing. And I said, well, what if I take you shopping and just let you pick out stuff and buy your own stuff? And what did you say? I don't have to spend a cent. Yeah, she's like, yay, I don't have to spend a single cent. It's so crazy how fast you learn how much you hate to spend your own money. Anyway, welcome to today. We're headed down to do chores. We got a, an event filled, packed day. I'm excited to share it with you guys. Emergency. Yeah, so poop. You guys left poop in our barn. First time. Gabby. I have all this leftover stuff from Thanksgiving. I want to stick it in our fridge so that we don't eat it because I hate us eating it. Um, we always have people coming to the barn, so it's better if they eat it and not us. Hear what I'm saying? Yeah, so if you guys saw the video on Kaylee's channel, she fell yesterday, she hurt her hand, and we had to take her home, take her back to her parents anyway. Uh, hopefully they trust us again. <laughs> yeah, so, could you imagine though, you send your kids to somebody else's house and then they fall and hurt themselves? Yeah, it's terrible. Why is she wearing riding boots? Why am I wearing riding boots? Because I left so fast yesterday from the barn, I didn't have time to change into my running shoes. They're down here. There better not be any bugs in my shoes. Okay. This was, yes, this is lo like a dish soap, sample bottles of dish soap. We got left in the barn and it is frozen. That's how cold it is. Slush. Yeah, we better take it up to the house, huh? Oh my God, it's cold. Oh, yeah, look, so cold. Horse blanket. We need to wash. blankets on our horses. Put blankets on us. All right, let's change our yeah. shoes. So um, today is riding lessons. I might canter. Stella might canter me. When I say Stella might canter me, it's when we're it's riding and then Stella decides to canter. So if Stella decides to canter and I'm afraid or I'm not ready, You're I'll free. slow her down. Because I learned free. how to no, I learned how to sit back and pull. <laughs> I'm and gonna be videoing it so yeah, I'll tell you if yeah. you scream. And if I'm feeling good, I'm just gonna let her go. And that happens sometimes in my lessons. Oh, like on my last lesson when I was cantering, I was feeling so good and Fiona's like, okay, stop. And I'm like, I'm not stopping, <laughs> which is bad. Kids, do not do that. Obey your trainer. But if I'm feeling good, sometimes it's hard for me to just stop. Usually it's no problem, but sometimes, just sometimes. Whoa, that's a lot of poop. And I will not be cantering today. You will not be cantering today? Yeah, we are going to be getting back to our horses, right? Like getting back into the swing of Finn. Tell them the problem. We have a huge problem. Mm -hmm. What is it? The problem with Finn. What did we notice on the weekend? He's shy. He's shy. All right, so maybe he's not shy. He's hurt bound. Oh. Finn is hurt bound to us. So my, old, my, my youngest son, Nick, uh, was playing with the horses and he's like that horse is shy and I'm like he's not shy But yeah, I think that's why he tries to attack the farrier. I think he's heard bound to us <laughs> He knows us and He only wants us so when like I do notice that when strangers come around he's like back off do not touch me But yeah, he's different with us. So that's a problem. We got to figure that one out Yeah, well, she wants a kiss from you. yeah, let's do it. Let's do it <laughs> Not the camera. She wants, oh, she wants to, to kiss you guys <laughs> 
so funny. Let's see. Let's see. Audio treat. Yeah. A good horse girl always has a treat in her pocket. <laughs> How I fresh. have to eat her carrots. That's so funny. Stores. Yeah. For my birthday. Yeah. They go through that store, go through me. It's frost on the ground today. Can you guys see the frost? Our arena. Our, oh, our arena is white over there. Oh. How are we going to have lessons when it's so slippery out? Oh, it'll dry. Hopefully, it'll dry. Otherwise, we're all going to die. Or we can you go them. first. <laughs> you go first. Hey, Gracie girl. If you guys watched Kaylee's video, did you see what happened after Kaylee fell yesterday? What did Gracie do? She was like, oh, I'll just stand beside you and eat grass while you recover. <laughs> you go ahead, get up, and I'll eat the grass. Yeah, she's she's such a good horse, though. Like, pony. Pony, yeah. She's a pony. Yeah, I wish she was if, a little bit if bigger. If she fell off of Willow, we wouldn't right. be able to catch Willow. No, Willow would be gone. All right, come on, let's get moving. But. She has never ridden Willow. For any of you guys who think she's too big, I ask you this question. How do you think ponies and minis and all of those horses get trained? Trained. Who do you think trains them? Four-year-olds? No. Bigger people. Bigger people than Kaylee. And it might not be cool. It might not be awesome. But Kaylee doesn't ride her very often. But Kaylee is the perfect rider because she has the skill level and because she's tiny. She only weighs like 70 pounds. And that's amazing. I look at you now, there's no trace. It's all been erased You tell me that it's over That we just hurt each other But we don't have to end up this way We're underwater We're off the shoreline I try to reach you But you're drifting away Can you guys see that? That's ice from their water. Their water was frozen last night. Wow. I taught him. Yeah, that's what you guys need to do. To do it. Look at that, you guys. So good. We've been working with him. As you feeling this way, I've long known that you're bothered by something. I don't believe that you're right when you say that we're better off this way. I guess it's true as my mother did say. You can't trust a soul that's been shattered. All those moments we shared face to face. Was it all just a game you played? You tell me that it's over That we just hurt each other But we don't have to end up this way So, I love the way Sophie just goes in the cupboard and gets like a can of corn for the chickens Well, they deserve it Yeah, they do Happy Thanksgiving, little chicks Aww I love that you want to try? Sure. It's cool. You need to put it down low. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's amazing. Let me give some to Izzy. Yeah, it's cool. Here, Izzy. Even though Izzy is a lot older than I wanted her to be, I still love her and I still think that she's amazing. And her little wrinkled eggs that she gives us are still amazing. Come and get these, these ones. Ow, ow, jeez. Be a little gentle, would you? Ow, 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 ow. See, most chickens wouldn't do this. Yeah, I think so too. I love that we sit inside their little hot chair and they just come up to us. They don't care that we're in here with them. It's kind of gross though. I love that on Thanksgiving when all of our family was here, um, a lot of us, got, a lot of them got to celebrate the animals with us. Not everybody in our family loves chickens or horses, um, and that's okay, but the ones that did have really celebrated with us and spent time with our animals, and it was so amazing to me. Yeah. 
wishbone at Thanksgiving. Ours isn't quite dry yet. Gabby and I tried to do it and it just kind of bent a little, but um, all the years before when the girls were young, every time we did the wishbone, I'd always say, wish for a farm, wish for a farm. And this year when we were about to do it, I said, what are you gonna wish for? Wish for a farm. And she said, I'm gonna wish for, Gabby said, I'm gonna wish for another horse. I'm like, if you wish for a bigger farm, you can have all the horses you want. <laughs> but she still was a traitor and she wished she was gonna wish for her own for another horse, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. That is a miracle in itself because there was a time that she uh never wanted another horse. So that's amazing. What would you wish for, Miss Miss Sophie? More slime and stuff for Finn. Stuff for Finn? Is that what you want for your birthday? Slime and stuff for Finn? Yeah. And toys and candy and so much other stuff. So like You want all the schlike. Yeah, I'm gonna get every single strike I don't have. I am feeling like Stella's in a sassy mood. See those ears? Those perked up ears? She's like, I know you said my name. Hello. All right, it is lunchtime. Hello. Hello. I came down and they both had their heads over the over the door. Hello. Her and Gracie, not Willow. Hi, Willow sweetness. Hi. Hello. Do you guys like looking at her eyes? I, I stare in her eyes so much. She's like, I know you got me some food. <laughs> got me the food. Oh, Hi, Gracie girl. See, look, she's getting braver. Things are looking up, you guys. It's because Stella's Three of them Willow. together. Yeah, yeah, Stella's the peacekeeper. She's like, she let me come. You want to come in and go for a if ride? pet her and kiss her, then she runs away from Yeah, her. she's a typical girl. Like, she's not a girly girl, an affectionate kind of girl. She's, I'm afraid. <laughs> she's looking kind of feisty. All Stella. Right, for you. Yeah, all right. I told Finn to be slow. I looked at Finn, he looked slow. <laughs> I looked at Finn, he looked slow. It's actually so cold today, like still cold, like maybe one degree above freezing. Like that's how cold it is today. We learned this hack from our friend, Emma. Um, she used to call her horse yeah. in the field when it was so muddy out. And she used to shake his bucket and he used to come running. So. All right, you guys think it's gonna work? I've been doing a lot better with the comments like handling like not so nice comments I still struggle with only one thing I know for me that when I comment mean things back or I say things that I wish I hadn't said it's always based on fear it's always based on fear like it's only now when somebody says that we're mistreating our horses and not because it kills me like it breaks my heart to hear that somebody would think that about us so that's what makes me respond badly and I recognize that in myself and I try and not do it but it's still really hard because we try so hard to do the best thing for our horses and unless you're here it's harder to tell but when people say your horse is hurting your horse has a sore back it like crushes me like literally crushes me and then I respond negatively because Lots of times our horses are just being horses, but uh, and and they're not in pain. But so when people say it to me, though, it never goes unnoticed by me or by my heart. And then I get so much stress when I hear that, even when it's not true. I'm really proud of our day, fam. Though you guys are some of the most kind and conscientious people. And usually when people say your horse is in pain, it's never meant to hurt us. But it does hurt me because of how hard I work to make sure that they're not in pain. Oh no, and they're just lying because they don't know how our horses They're not move. lying. They're, they think that our horses are in pain, but that's just how they move naturally. Yeah, like... Stella has a funny gait where she goes... 
And then when she trapped, she goes like that with her feet. Picking yeah, up, but it's just because they don't know, and I get that, but that's what makes it hard, is that they don't know, and then they're still saying it, and that's what makes it hurtful for me. But I should also tell you that there are some people that I have learned to trust over time, some of our day fam, and that I look to, so when they comment something, I take it so much more serious than I do like a 10 year old saying the same thing, like. Mom, Mom, we're gonna take our horses into the arena and do liberty with them. Um, I, I uh, pick their have, feet. I need to have a join up lesson with Finnegan. Well, you gotta lock the girls out then. Oh, guys, guys, we got the coach starter pack. Yeah, the here. coach starter pack. We got a lot of paw. She and likes we got seven up. And we got a whole box, which we ate them all, <laughs> of uh, Wonder. thousand times before Baby, it's now or never Gotta leave this town And I know what you're asking for You say it's out of my reach But I can't pretend no more video for this week is gonna make it to a video because I sucked so bad it's so frustrating like every time I learn something and I'm starting to get better at it and then if you change something it feels like I'm all the way back to square one basically I had to write in Sophie Gabby saddle because if it's Stella better but it's a close cl close contact saddle and literally I just feel like like my saddle, even though it's not good, it's good for Stella, it holds me all in nice and tight. And then I've learned to use all the muscles that I need for that saddle. But then this new saddle, it like my everything was just like hanging there. Like I, I didn't even like it's just a weird feeling. It was a totally different riding experience. I whined and complained and cried and threw fits the whole lesson because I'm the kind of person that has to figure it all out. I have to like talk it out. I have to figure it out. Yeah, that that's me. Like. Even when I'm upset with something, I have to fight it out, I have to talk it out, I have to 
I have to figure it out right away. I can't hold anything in. That's why I'm never gonna die from cancer, guys. <laughs> Cause I don't hold anything in. And so yeah, I don't know. It was a really bad lesson, like so bad. Like I never want to ride in that, that saddle again. It's awful. If I have to ride in that saddle for a little bit longer, then I'm gonna learn to ride in that saddle. I'm gonna build the muscles that I need to learn to ride in that saddle. Something's happening. The girls went for a little trail ride. This is nerve wracking. Girls went for a little trail ride around the property and we were waiting and waiting and waiting for them and they never showed up and she fell off. Oh my God, we missed it and she fell off. Oh my God. What happened? How? Did you get hurt? It hurt after I jumped up. I jumped up right away. Good job. Good ball. Good. Well, that that's not like that's not. This is the part where the day by day girls just start laughing hysterically. Mike is killing me. I just looked over and she was on the ground. Everybody's falling. I fell. No, no, no. It happened to three moms. Mike, Kaylee, Sophia. Mike didn't fall. He just baked to a pole. Yeah. So? So I'm a. Oh, no, no, no. Wow, we have a weird no, no. thing. Threes. Mom, Kaylee, Sophia. Yeah, you're out, of the, you're out of the loop, Gabby. I'm proud of you, Sophie. So, how did he spook? What did he spook at? making noise there. So what did he do? J did he gallop or did he just jump to the side? Like this. Oh. And that's what Stella did too, except for Stella went and I went, no. I was half scared. I was half on it, I'm like, no. But I wasn't scared during the whole thing. We were set the whole time trying to get me up, but the sow kept slipping to the side. And I'm not getting up unless I have a stool. I'm like, you're going. But you know what? That's good that you were ready to get back on. Well, Sophie has been amazing today. Yeah, we need to replace the stirrup elastic. Oh, it's elastic. It was too broken. old and then it broke. See? Yeah, we it's have more. Old, so I could just literally go like this. Okay. And it would break. Okay. That's how old it is. All right, so tell me. All right, so tell them what, how come you're so brave today? Um, because Finn showed me I can be brave. Bra Finn was an amazing yeah, horse to hop today. On and walk him down there, though. Yeah, do you want to hop on? I was, I held on and I pulled Stella to a stop because she would have been. Whoop, to the barn if I was just like, ah. but all I saw, I looked over and I saw Sophia like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, no, I saw her as she like just hit the ground. She went like that, and she went and got her horse. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> like, oh, my horse is gonna run away. So, she was gonna run away. But, but Finn, when Sophia fell off, Finn did this. Whoop. <laughs> And Stella's like, this is what Stella did. And I'm like, no. And she's like, all right, we are back up and back on because we are equestrians, right? Step one, it says a worn outside. And the diner's name is California Dreams. falling off that matters it's not the bad lesson that matters it's not the scared that matters what matters is the getting back up and getting back on but it's not just the getting back up and getting back on and keep on trying that matters what matters is not getting your head knocked off by your horse no what matters is that you have to push all the bad stuff aside you just have to push it aside you can't focus on it your focus has to be on all the good stuff. Like, even though my ride was terrible, I keep thinking about all the rides that were so good and where I felt amazing. And that's what I gotta focus on because I know I can get back there. So 
So I just want to encourage you guys to not focus on the bad stuff. Focus on the good stuff. Focus your mind where you want to go and only see that. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.